guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. It's Paige and today we are doing a vegan DIY soup tutorial, I guess, if you want to follow along with it. I don't know. I'm making soup today and I figured I'd bring you guys along. One of what I like to do here on this channel is break stigmas about certain things and I think being vegan definitely has a stigma towards it. I feel like a lot of the time people make it seem a lot harder than what it is, but in reality, as long as you like a good handful of vegetables, you can pretty much make everything vegan. So that's going to be the overall agenda of these videos if I continue to make them. So let me know if you like them down in the comments below. Let me know if you'd like more of these videos. If you want to know more about how to be vegan, vegan, the process of becoming vegan, or anything like that really, because that has been what this past year has been for me. So yes, I've already gone to the store and prepared by grabbing all sorts of goodies, all sorts of my favorite vegetables, actually partially following along with this recipe that I got online, which I will link down below because courtesy. <laughs> yeah guys, let's get into this and make our vegetable bean and barley soup. So as you see, I grabbed a ton of stuff from the grocery store, a lot of fresh vegetables, and then I also have taken out a few of my favorite herbs and spices that have a lot of medicinal benefits that I really like. So next it's time to dice all of the vegetables into little bite-sized pieces, but the onions kind of got to me, so enjoy this still of me crying because of the onions. <laughs> Okay, now that that is done, it is time to start cooking, sauteing, I don't know what people call this, but cook some of the vegetables so they aren't terrible. This olive oil I'm using is from Horrocks, which is garlic and mushroom infused. Oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, now that that is done, it is time to make the soup base. So we're going to be using four cups of vegetable broth and then four cups of water. Oh, I'm not breaking my own rules. I just filled this with water because it's four cups already. <laughs> Now we're going to add in the rest except for the barley because I accidentally bought quick barley and this is gonna be sitting all day so I can't do that. But yeah, everything else will be going in the slow cooker and we will try it later. So Tomatoes, corn, pinto beans, And now we wait. Just added a few bay leaves and I wish you guys could smell this. Mm. Oops. <laughs> All right guys, so it is later. I have tried my soup and let me tell you, it was really really good actually i'm really proud of myself because i am no chef by any means you probably might have seen in my cutting and preparing earlier so in other words if i can do it you can do it i definitely would recommend adding a little bit more of the actual vegetable stock i ended up adding a little bit of booyong or booyong booyong i don't know i'll show you what it is this stuff better than booyong and other than that, I didn't really add anything special other than like the vegetables I wanted and the spices and herbs that I liked. So it was really easy to make. And like I said, if I can do it, you can do it. Yeah, that was it for this video. Let me know if you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up or down, depending on obviously if you liked it or not. I need to figure out a better way to say that in these videos. But anyways, guys, it was a pleasure having you around. I am going to go eat this fantastic soup that I made. Not to brag. Be sure to check out my blog and Patreon because that pre-sale is going on until the 19th of January, so get in on it. But thank you guys so much. I'm so grateful for the community that we have here. So in other videos, bye for now.